Today we're going to be talking about JMS and specifically message beans using NetBeans. And we're going to be talking about the publisher subscription model and that's where one messenger or producer or publisher sends one message to a topic and all the consumers or subscribers in this case can all read that message. Now it's not used as much as the queue and that's why I'm going to show you exactly how to build it but they're all pretty much the same in the end. So right now we're going to make a new JMS resource. So go to New, go to Other, go down to Glassfish and hit JMS Resource, hit Next. And we're going to call it a Topic Connection Factory. And this will be the actual JMDI name. You can name it anything you'd like, just remember what you call it. And we're going to make it a Java javax.jms Topic Connection Factory. So hit Finish. And this is our Sun Resources at the moment, which just has our JDBC connection stored in it. But if we refresh the sunresources.xml, you'll see that we added in some new XML right over here that helps actually tell uh, the Glassfish server how to make our JMS system. And you can change all these settings if you'd like. OK, so we're going to close this. And sunresources.xml is in your server resources in Wicket Tutorial ZJB. OK, so that's pretty much all the setup we need. Now we're going to make a new Wicket page over here. And I'm going to call it Publisher. Now, you don't have to make a Wicket page, but I'm going to be using Wicket to show people exactly how to do things in the future and how to make a GUI for this tutorial. So that's why I'm using Wicket. Use whatever you'd like. Though. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we have to get the Topic Connection Factory that we just built in our JNDI. And that's pretty much all it takes. You do Add Resource. You have to remember your JNDI name. And then you make it as a Topic Connection Factory, which is pretty much why I named it that. And that's all you need, at least for EJBs. So the next step that you're going to actually have to do is you're going to have to make a Topic Connection and a Topic Session. So let's just do that right now. Topic Connection, Connection equals Connection Factory dot create Topic Connection. And there you go, shift Control i to import everything. And now we're going to make a topic session. And don't worry about the error. It's going to ask for a try catch. We'll do that in a minute. Connection dot create topic session. And you want it to be true. And we're going to do session dot auto acknowledge. And that'll acknowledge all the message messages automatically. So that's actually quite useful for us. So now what we're going to do. Let's hit shift control i now we're going to make a topic 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 equals session oops, dot create topic and we don't want to make a temporary topic we want to make a topic and we're going to call it chat and hit shift can hit shift control i so that's all done now of course let's just fix all this and uh we're going to make a try cache surround with try surround block with try catch and it just handles the JMS exception okay so now let's look a little bit further at this so now we actually have to make a publisher so publish oops publisher publisher equals session dot create publisher and of course we have the topic right here already We're going to hit shift control i You actually have to make it a topic publisher. Sorry. All these names are a little confusing. Now, of course, if this was for a queue, you would call it connection or just session. And you would actually have to make a destination. And you would make a producer, not a publisher. So all very similar, but at least similar names and conventions. So pretty much the only thing that you need to do now, and it's really a key thing that you always have to new, remember to do, is connection.start. And of course, connection.stop when you're done. Now the next thing that you can actually do is we're going to make a text message, and that's just a message with text is equal to, and we're going to do a create text message, and we're going to give it some string text. Hello world. Hmm creative huh so just fix imports and then we're going to close well let's sh I'll show you how to send it publisher dot 
publish. And that's pretty much how you send the message to the topic. And that's literally all that is, except you always, of course, want to close everything up for yourself. And of course, don't forget to close the publisher itself as well. So that's pretty much everything that you have to build in the publisher. That's it. So fine. Now let's make the subscriber. So let's make a new page. It's going to be called subscriber. We're just going to go over here. And now this is also pretty much the exact same startup. So I'm just going to skip a couple of steps and shift control I to import everything. Hopefully it imported all the right stuff. So the only thing different over here is that you have a topic subscriber in what I declared. And the, everything is going to be the exact same connection equals connection factory dot create connection. So everything is pretty much the exact same thing. And of course we're going to have to Oops, we're not going to use throws. You could. We're going to surround with a try catch. And of course, we're just going to look at publisher and just, you know, steal some code right over here. Two lines of code. And of course, it shift control I to have everything back in. Okay, so now if you want to read, you of course need to do connection.start. But pretty much what you also have to do is you have to build your subscriber, which is also pretty easy. So we're going to build our subscriber right here. Oops, subscriber is equal to session dot create subscriber. And we already have our topic. And of course, we're due to connection dot start. And if you don't do the connection dot start, it'll actually stall and it won't really give you a warning, which is kind of sad. By the way, I'm going to just erase these because we have ours declared as fields. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So let's just read something. So subscriber dot. So now you have a couple of options. You can do receive. And receive will hang until it reads a message. Or you can do receive 100 and that'll wait, you know, 100 milliseconds. Or you can do receive no wait. And that'll just automatically try and receive. And if it doesn't get anything, it'll return null. And that's pretty much all it is. That's all it takes to make a Java messaging system. And if you see the next view, uh, the next video, and you're using Wicket, you can actually see how this will actually work. Right now, there's not much to do with these messages. So click on the next video. You can click to the end if you'd just like to see a working version. And if not, and you want to try it on your own, have fun. And just like I said, cues are pretty much the same idea. Remember to rate and comment and uh, show some support or tell me if you want to see the Q version as well or any ideas. Okay, thank you.